Ellis, what are you doing? Stressed, Jody. I'm, bl I'm bloody stressed. You wanna know why? Poor, poor shirt. Fuck mother put me in charge. Ben's gone away for a week for Jess's birthday. I'm in charge. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to plan to go. Ben's planned the entire season, now it's back on me. I don't have a clue what we're doing. Can we have a thousand likes? Uh, I'll put a tweet up, and that'll decide where we'll go. But other than that, you know what? Bloody, had enough. Had absolutely enough. Just start the intro. Thousand likes. Bye. Yes, so today Farm Up decided to let me be in charge because Ben is away and to be honest I couldn't actually handle the pressure so I decided to put a tweet up and let the fate of Twitter handle it. Then for some reason Tranmere piped up and threw a spanner into the works which was absolute carnage. This was however all resolved when Gillingham finally piped up and said this tweet my way. So Gillingham it is. If you wish to follow Gillingham, Tranmere, Lincoln or any club across the world within reason you bloody cheeky lot then be sure to download FopMob, the best app for football fans on a match day. It is completely free on iOS and Android and honestly, to be honest, it is the perfect sponsor for this channel. I genuinely do not believe there is a better partnership on YouTube between an app and a channel than us and FopMob. It is the most seamless, it's the most authentic and the most genuine integration on YouTube and I love FopMob. And I love the fact that they're still consistently supporting the channel. And I love the fact that everyone in the comments who ever comments about FopMob loves the app too. If you haven't checked it out yet, it's free on iOS and Android. It's at the top of the description. Download it today because honestly, it will change your football experience. And then to top it all off from that intro of the club's tweeting me, Lincoln's chairman tweeted me to go on Lincoln's End. So we're going to Lincoln's End because this has been a weird, weird weekend. So we've got clubs fighting over us. We've got a chairman asking us to go in their end. And we have no Ben Gibbs. And we also have the best sponsor... <laughs> I honestly think I'm personally keeping Morrison's petrol station afloat myself. And every Saturday before any away day, we always come to this one. Norwich Morrison's petrol station. And I also don't think people realise how far away every football club is from Norwich. They're all so annoying to get to. We've arrived in Gillingham, and if it all looks like this, it's very nice. Um, we're 1.1 miles away from the stadium because we couldn't park anywhere. And there's 20 minutes till kickoff, so... We're going to be late. So me and Jody went to see Liam Gallagher during the week, and I've just clocked the... I'm wearing the same jacket I wore there, and a warm substance was thrown on us, which I'm pretty certain was we. So if you meet me today and I smell, apologies. <laughs> the one negative about watching a club that is like surrounded in houses is that I don't never actually know which way to go to get to the ticket office. Like it's kind of like a maze here. It's like, do you ever play Professor Layton? Kind of like that. It's nothing like that. Wow, <laughs> something's telling me we need to turn left here. Nice to meet you, Let. Just about to get our tickets, and we've noticed that the they're storing a lot of bulk packed toilet tissue. How many ply do you reckon it is? One ply? I reckon it's, I reckon it's two ply. There's too much tissue going on there. Oh, it's two ply. It's two ply. What time to be alive? Problem number one of the day, there's seven minutes to kick off. You need cash to buy tickets in the away end. I always find it amazing that regardless of how hard we try or how much we try to act professional, something always goes wrong. It's just, it's actually impressive at how bad we are. We're at the stadium, welcome, me and Jody, Jody's fuming. The toilets are out of order and she really needs a wee. There'll be toilets down there, don't worry. We've arrived, our journey down here was a total round trip of 280 miles, which was over 7,000 miles for the season now. 7,083 miles travelled. I honestly feel like we could do a book at this point and be like, oh my God, travellers, oh, travel, visual, loving it, get in. Jody's found a toilet. Get in there and do your business, my son. Hello, did you have a nice toilet? Lovely. It smelled like chlorine. Did it? it like chlorine, but you did a yori. <laughs> we made it, as you can see. Um, come on, boys, say it. Yay. No, I said that's not the saying. <laughs> not really fair that the police get such a nice view, is it, of such a beautiful state? I tell you what, though, one thing the stadium does have is lots of seagulls. Um, there's one, for example. I don't know if you can even see it on my camera. <laughs> there's two. There is two seagulls. That's the most interesting thing that's happened in the game. Two seagulls. Now we build a roof for you. This game is the most obvious no no of all time. So if the next clip's a goal, then I've talked it up, but so far it's been incredibly flat. Guaranteed no nil, he said. <laughs> Shit. One nil. We're 
be a man marked or he's dropped off. He's given us a yard of space. Make it count. Make that count against modern football. Being brutally honest, and I know a load of Lincoln people are going to be viewing this, you have probably, well, case in mind, you've strung about two successful passes together this whole game. What, what's going on? This ain't prime Barcelona. Prime Bogner Regis. They're probably done two passes, bless them. Sorry, Bogner. I honestly think this seagull there is just as likely to score as Lincoln. Football vloggers are everything that's wrong with the game now. Half time, Gillingham 1, Lincoln 0. Uh, here's Ellis with something potentially probably more interesting than this. We'll see you in the second half where it's 100% going to get interesting because if I put a clickbait title, then there's something interesting happen because I don't lie in my titles. If something interesting happens, I'll make sure to note it. But if not, then probably just stop watching now, I'll be honest with you. Half time, here's the stats for the day and the season so far. And you'd already know what I'm going to say. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram, it's in the description. Just go and do it because sometimes there's some good content, most of the time there's not. However, tickets for this game were £44, travel was £35 and food was £12, which makes our total for the game £91 and our season total £2,112, which I feel could have been spent better elsewhere. You know what I need? Yes. Not to be too over the top, but someone has just dropped an absolute clanger. It's half time and I don't need to be smelling this. I'm not one to point the finger, but Jody, was it you? No. <laughs> it's what someone who it was would say. Come on, boys! Come on, boys. <laughs> it does. Me and Jody were saying that this entire just stand smells of meat when you walk into a butcher's. And maybe someone maybe someone rubs themselves in raw mint. This is gonna be a goal. Do you believe in Lincoln City? Do you believe that it'll be a goal? I don't cause it's not good enough, no. <laughs> He's kicked him in the head. He's pointy. Go on, Jody, tell the viewers, where did you think we were going today? Nowhere. Where did you think we were going? Nowhere. Jody thought we were going to Gillingham, which I reckon is a common mistake, but I just think it's funny that I can take the pit miss out, Mick, Mick out. I didn't want to swear. <laughs> It's mad that that's called the rain ham end, but if you took away the rain, that's what it smells like in this end. <laughs> it's not about Shrek, it's about goals. <laughs> Delivery of a drunken midwife. <laughs> He's been booked. Fucking Oh my god. People are angry. I'm angry. I'm angry. We're all angry. But it's nearly Christmas, so lighten up. It's the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Jody, it's a good job the police are here. Do you want to know why? Because they need to get Lincoln to find their ability because someone's clearly robbed it. Just a quick um, um football related question. When it goes dark, where do seagulls go? You never see a seagull at night, do you? Because they're not seagulls, they're doves. Yeah, but seagulls don't have nests, they're too big. Probably make them out of chips. No, they're not. Seagulls are not birds, they are vermin. It's come to the right back. It's whipped. Oh, no! That was nearly a goal. It would have been a miracle. Four extra minutes of this, Jody. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Honestly, like, it just stinks of beef. Raw casserole beef. No, the game stinks, but just not beef. They could have turned up. Four minutes to go. So Lincoln have turned up with three minutes to go, but... Uh, oh, sorry, mate. We're also trying to leave. Oh, we're being... No, sorry. Right, so I know. Mr. Squeezy. I'll see you in a second. Uh, full time, 1-0. No. Fun. The last thing I want to be hearing right now is Queen. It just sums up this experience for me. This has been an absolute nightmare. Unfortunately, with the content we make, we can't actually decide what's going to happen before we get to the game. And unfortunately, this was the biggest stinker of the season in terms of the game we watched. Hope the video is still enjoyable. And if you are new around here, and this is the first away day you've ever seen, they're all better than this. So if you like this one, then you're going to bloody love the others. It's in the playlist. Check it out. Um, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit the like button. Every single away day is at 1,000 likes this season. Can this one please too? If you're new around here, like I said, please subscribe because we're over 55,000 now. It would be good to get a few more. I'd love it. 
Comment your favourite part of the video and comment suggestions going forward because Ben has run out of game ideas in his current spreadsheet that he plans things on. So be sure to suggest anywhere now because going forward, we've got an open book. So suggest any away day or reply to most of the comments in the video too. Social media is in the description below and so is FOTMOB, which is completely free on iOS and Android. And once again, if you didn't enjoy the video, then that's fine. The game was quite boring. If you're not here for just the football, I feel like that's what our channel provides. It's not just about the game and the football. It's about a bit of banter between some friends of football. And sometimes I drag my girlfriend along too, who doesn't enjoy it as much, but gets involved. You know, good times. We'll see you next week for who knows, but Ben's bloody planning it. Please shank this. Please shank this. Please shank this.